the thing that really interested me was the um, contention points, the pressure points between finance and business. And a lot of times when you talk about this issue, um, the bank bailouts, um, inequality, the slow growth economy in the wake of the crisis, it's poised as a finance versus society issue. But actually this idea that the financial system, which is the center of the system of modern capitalism, um, is pushing business to do the wrong things is, is kind of new, and I think people are still getting their, their, their brains around that. Um, that all stems from, from a fundamental change in the business model of the financial system. And then I'm going I'm to okay, link sure, this up okay, to, to shareholder value. Because what you have to understand first is 70, uh, or sorry, 40 years ago, uh, the financial system mostly did lending, mostly did lending to business. So if you go back to the 1970s, about 60% of all the money coming out of the big U.S. institutions would have been going into businesses, you know, started by people like you or, or people out here, or small businesses. Um, all kinds of businesses. Today, only 15% of the money from U.S. financial institutions actually makes its way into business. The rest of it is the trading of assets, the buying and selling of securities, stocks, bonds, houses. So that's a fundamental business model shift. And then you couple that with the changes in, that you're talking about in the way corporations are governed and run. And I point to two things in my book that I think were really seminal. Um, share buybacks, which, as everybody knows, have reached record levels in recent years, were illegal before 1982. They were considered market manipulation. Um, that changed under Ronald Reagan. So you can look at that, share buybacks take off, um, and then under the Clinton administration, Bill Clinton's administration, there were changes in the way corporate compensation uh, for performance pay could be awarded in, in stock options. Um, that was under, under Bob Rubin's um, reign as Treasury Secretary. And then you saw buybacks take off again. Now, what was happening is you had an incentive structure um, pushed by Wall Street, which always wants the share price to go up for the quarter, that basically incentivized leaders to do not what was right for 5, 10, 20 years, but what was right for the quarter, what's right to get the stock price up this minute. And it just creates an incredibly dysfunctional snowball cycle, um, you know, for all sorts of reasons.